rise and shine. Hey guys, my name is Bianca. Um, I thought I would take you through a little bit of a get ready with me today. I introduce you to myself. Um, thanks so much for, for having me. Um, so to start with, um, I usually do my face first and my like my foundation and stuff first. But I'm um, doing something a little bit controversial today and I'm going to start with my eyes just because I'm doing something a little bit different. And if it backfires, I don't want it to backfire on my whole face. Um, so going to start with doing my eyes first. So I'm just going to conceal. My mirror is here. So if I look over this way, that's why. So to tell you a little bit about myself, I am... 26 i live in melbourne um i have a regular nine to five job but on the side i really enjoy creating content um makeup skincare talking about that kind of stuff um i do have an instagram page that i only recently just restarted because my previous one got deleted um but let's not go there so if you want, you can go and follow me on my Instagram. I'll put my name on the screen because I feel like if I try to say it, people won't get it. Um, so I'm using this jelly pink shadow from ColourPop today. It's a jelly much shadow. The shade is Sweet Dreams. Um, so let's see how this goes. I swatched it and it does look quite stunning, but it's always different when you put it on. So I'm going for quite a bold look on my eyes today, which is a little bit different to a lot of the stuff that Fluff posts. But I think you can still have so much fun with makeup and just like not take it too seriously. I think that's my approach with makeup anyway. Um, I don't wear it for anyone but myself. Um, and it's literally just my hobby. Like it's so fun how you can just change or like create art literally on your face i don't think makeup should be taken serious very seriously so i'm just putting this on really messy like because i will be shaping it out a little bit better once it's all down you'll see I thought I was going to have to shake that out and I thought it would be really messy, but it's actually quite easy to shape out and manipulate. Um, other than the fact that I find it's a little, you can't really see on camera, but it's the formula goes a little bit chunky on your lid. Um, that could have something to do with my skin in particular. But um, other than that, I think this is a really cool formula and it's really fun to play with. Cool. Well, I'm going to go and do the other eye and I'll be right back when that's done. Two hours later. Okay, I'm back. Both eyes are done. And I actually really like how this turned out. It was a really easy formula to use. Um, yeah. um, so anyway, I'm going to put on a bit of foundation. Well, like a tinted moisturizer from Nude Sticks. I really only ever use tinted moisturizers. Um, a lot of people ask me how my skin is always so dewy. And it's literally just because I, I don't put anything powder on my face um other than fluff and fluff is super like it doesn't dry down in a way that's going to make you look dry like you could literally put it all over your face um which i don't do but like you could if you were darker skin tone um and it wouldn't dry you out at all um, and that's what i really love about it and i'll show you when i put it on how it looks like it doesn't look like that i've got a powder bronzer on my face it's quite remarkable so I only put enough on just to even out my skin tone, cover up any redness. Um, the aim of me using foundation or tinted moisturizers is not to cover. It's really just to enhance the glow. Um, and yeah, just even out my skin tone um, for whatever I put on top of it. Because I did go through a stage of not wearing foundation at all for quite a long time. And it did really help my skin. Um, but I found that it just... like. Other things just don't sit on top of your skin as well. Um, and I kind of just like having all one even skin tone, if that makes sense. So yeah, I don't put much on and you can't really tell too much of a difference. Except for the fact that my skin does look a lot more even. 
then if I do want a little bit more coverage, I'll cover up anything that needs coverage with concealer. Um, but my skin's looking okay at the moment, so I'm just gonna put some concealer underneath my eyes. And I'm just using the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I use it every single day. It's really amazing. And then for a little extra coverage, because the stretch concealer is pretty light coverage, I just use it um, to enhance the dew further. Um, so for a little extra coverage, I use at the moment the ColourPop, it's all rubbed off, but the ColourPop um, concealer, I think they only have one. Um, I don't find it makes me look cakey or anything like that. Okay, um, I don't even powder my under eyes. Of course, um, if you do have oilier skin or skin or under eyes that tends to crease a lot more, then you can powder your under eyes. Um, but I do crease a little bit through the day, but I just find um, powder only enhances it because powders, in my humble opinion, I don't really think powder stops your under eyes from creasing. I think your under eyes naturally crease um, and it'll just do it either way. So I think powder is best for people with oilier skin that maybe um, they just want to keep the product on their face. <laughs> um, but for me, I've got very dry skin and I find it just sits there um, perfectly fine all day. Um, so now for the fun part, um, I'm going to be using fluff um, all over my face as a bronzer today. I just, I personally like a really big powder brush. See how it's not taking away from the glowiness at all? It's literally just adding a nice warmth to my face. And you can keep this really subtle or build it up and that's what i really love about fluff is that i do like to be quite bronze so i can build it up and it still doesn't dry out my skin or anything like that blush i'm going to use my favorite blushes ever which are the glossier cloud paints um right now i'm really loving the combo of haze and puff and you only need a tiny bit of these so i just take these a little bit of these from the back of my hand and just mix them together and it's like such a pretty like raspberry tint I almost forgot my brows, so I'm going to quickly do that. It doesn't take me long to do them anymore because I got them microbladed a little bit earlier in the year. Um, and I also got a brow lift. Um, so if you don't know what a brow lift is or brow lamination, um, it's basically like a lash lift, but you're for your brows. And it's kind of changed my life. Um, so my brows are already pretty bushy, so I don't need to do much. I kind of just um, fill in any gaps that I have um, and for that I use the bushy brow pen from Lime Crime I'm just going to use a stick highlighter so I'm going to use the Emco Beauty um, stick highlighter in Champagne it's actually like the best stick highlighter that I've probably ever used um, it's just so stunning. It gives you the most natural glow. Like. Okay. 
And if you're in Australia, I'm pretty sure they sell that this in Woolworths. And it's like 10 bucks or something, like insane. Kind of blend it all together when I put highlighter on top of blush, just so there's no like difference. I just kind of like to go over with my blush brush. Just kind of blend them together. And I feel like that gives you the most natural looking highlight. Before I do my final touches, I just spritz my face with a little bit of setting spray. And I just wait for that to dry. Um, so while it dries, I just thought I would tell you a bit about myself, other than the fact that I've already told you that I live in Melbourne and I'm 26 and I have a regular nine to five job. Um, I'm also really into like thrifting and I'm really into sustainability um, and stuff like that. So I do also have um, a business on the side called Hill and High Water that I own with my husband. Um, so basically we sell secondhand clothing, that's cool. Um, so if you want to check that out, um, we're on a little bit of a hiatus at the moment because we just moved house, um, but the website's still up. So if you still want to purchase something, we'll still send it out to you, but we haven't had new stock in a little while, little while now, um, but there is new stuff coming, which is really exciting. Um, so other than that, I also got a puppy a few months ago. Do you want to meet him? I can I can show you him if you want. Okay. All right. I'm going to get him. Where is he? Kingsley. Kingsley. King. Who's literally right here? Hi. I woke him up. My name is Kingsley. He's a long-haired Dachshund. He's 10 months old. It's his first birthday in December. Um, so I'm going to bake him a cake, a puppy cake, and we're going to go to the beach. Hopefully it's a really nice day. Uh, yes. He's a very lovable dog. Okay, back to makeup. Bye, Kingsley. This is all dried now, so I'm going to do my eyebrow gel. Um, I'm using the Milk Makeup Kush Brow. I don't usually love this brow gel, but since I've had my brow elimination, or brow lift or whatever, I find that this works good, but because I naturally have really curly brows, I just find that this doesn't hold it at all. So I'm just using this up while I do have my brow done, um, because I'll probably, once it wears off, I'll probably have to switch back to boy brow which really holds my brows mascara i'm using the urban decay perversion um, and for the last step i'm just going to put on some glossier lip gloss um i didn't want to do anything too bold on my lips because eyes that is the final look thank you so much for watching thank you fluff for having me um and just so you know fluff just came out with these t-shirts it says oh, oh. Ugh. anyway it says i'm prettier now that i don't care and i love that because i just think just shouldn't care what others think others thinks <laughs> just shouldn't care what others think if you want to wear makeup wear it if you don't want to wear makeup don't wear it who cares makeup and beauty is a social construct so just do what makes you happy if you want to wear bright green eyeshadow to the office wear bright green eyeshadow to the office i mean it, as long as it's not going to get you fired because you don't want to get fired over green eyeshadow 
but you know what I mean. Do what you want. Don't care what other people think. And that's kind of just my message for today. So I hope you have a great day. Thank you again for watching. Um, and just last, just so you know, is I do have a code with Fluff that can get you 10% off anything on the website, including this new t-shirt. Or if you want to get the bronzer, it is Bianca is Fluff. I'll put that on the screen. Have a nice day. Bye.